Hey guys, it's Sena aka The Hazina Girl, and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the tuition for Bunka Fashion College. I'm going to be breaking down the tuition price per major, and I'm going to talk about exactly what it is that you're paying for when you pay for your tuition at Bunka. So let's get right into it. One thing that you're going to have to pay before you even pay for your tuition is something called an applications fee. You're going to need to send in 33,000 Japanese yen, and that fee is non-refundable, which means that if you don't get into Bunka, you will not get that money back. But rest assured, you're probably going to get into Bunka if you finish watching this video all the way to the end. So your first payment is going to include your entrance fee. And that you only have to pay one time. And once you get into your second year, you no longer have to pay this entrance fee. Next up, you're going to pay your first semester's tuition, which again, depends on which major you choose. Then thirdly, you're going to pay something called an establishment fee, which essentially is just the fee that you pay for all the amenities that you're going to get to use when you go to Bunka. And then number four, you're going to pay for the teaching materials fee, which is basically all the teaching materials that your teachers need to be able to teach you. Next is something called the student association fee, which is basically like a small fee you pay towards the student council. And essentially that money goes towards, you know, planning events, planning activities and things like that. And last but not least is the emergency management fund, also known as the disaster prevention fund. And essentially what that does is it goes towards, you know, any emergency that might happen on the school premises, like a fire or an earthquake, things like that. I completely forgot to mention that there's something called a training fee as well. And if you want any more details of all the fees that I've just mentioned, then you can definitely check out this chart or you can check out the link in the description. Now your second payment is going to be significantly less than your first payment. And the main reason why is because you're not going to have to pay for all those additional fees. The only thing you'll be paying for in your second payment is your second semester tuition. And that's it. Now let's talk about the final fee which you're going to have to pay, which is something called the materials fee. Now the materials fee is exactly what it sounds like. It's basically the fee that you pay once at the beginning of your first year at Bunka Fashion College. The school's going to ship you out a box and this box is going to have all the different materials you're going to need to be able to study at Bunka Fashion College in your specific major. All right, so the first thing you need to know is that Bunka has a college and a university. Today I'm going to be talking about the college and I'm not going to talk about the university because those fees are completely different, but let's just delve right into the college fees. So first off, let's talk about the Fashion Creation Department. So the Fashion Creation Department has two different courses. First up, we've got the Garment Creation Major, and it costs this much, and this is how much the materials fee costs. Again, this course is based on a lot of garment creation, so you'll do a lot of sewing in this course, and it's also the most popular course at Bunga, which means it's got a lot of students. Next up, we've got Intensive Garment Creation, which is a one-year major, and it costs this much, and this is how much the materials fee costs. So as you guys can see, it is uh, just a one-year course, which is very rare. And it's a course that you can actually take if you are a university graduate. So for all of you university graduates out there, this might be a great option for you guys. Next up, we've got the Fashion Technology Department. So in this department, we have a special major. I completely forgot to mention the name, but this is called the Creative Design Advanced Diploma, and it is a four-year course. And this is how much it costs, and this is how much the material fees are. This next course is called the Foundations of Fashion Technology, and it is a three-year course. And this is how much the tuition costs, and this is how much the materials fees are. All right, next up, we've got Fashion Styling and Distribution. And now this course is another popular one, and it's actually a two-year program or a three-year program if you decide to add an additional year. And essentially, it'll cost this much for your first year, and the materials fee will cost this much. Now, once again, like I said, this one is a very popular one because it doesn't involve making a lot of clothes. But it's a pretty good one, it's a popular one, and I know a lot of people who very much enjoyed this course. And next up is the Global Fashion Business Advanced Diploma. And basically the reason why it is an advanced diploma is because it is a four-year program, and this is how much it costs, and this is how much the materials fees are. Now you'll notice that the materials fee is a lot less than, let's say, the garment creation course, and that's because this course doesn't require as many materials as the garment creation course does. All right, last but not least is my personal favorite, which is the fashion accessories and textile department. So the first major in this department is the fashion textiles major, which is my major, and it's what I studied for three years. And this is how much the tuition costs, and this is how much the materials fee is. This course, again, is probably on the more expensive end when it comes to materials, and that's because you get a lot of materials when you are a textile design student. And next up is millinery design, which basically means hat making. If you guys are interested in taking this course, it is a two-year course. You can study for three years if you add an additional advanced course on top of it, um, but this is how much it costs for one year, and this is how much the materials fees are. Next up is jewelry design, and this is again a two-year course, which you can also add an additional advanced class for three years, and this is how much it costs, and this is how much the materials fees are. 
And then we've got bag design, which is super cool because I don't know of many schools that have a bag design class. But yeah, if you guys are interested, then definitely look into this one. This one is again a two-year course, which you can also extend for three years if you want. And this is how much it costs. And this is how much the material fee is. All right, and then last but not least, we've got footwear design, which focuses on making shoes. And this is again a two-year program, which you can extend to three years. And this is how much the tuition is. And this is how much the material fee is. So yeah, that's it. But actually, that's not all. Bunka only showcases the first year's tuition. And in this video, what I've done is add that plus the materials fee to give you guys the total number that you see on screen. But if you want to know what the full tuition cost is, I've actually taken it upon myself to calculate each and every single course by using this simple equation. I wanted to calculate this for you guys because Bunka only releases your second, third, or fourth year's tuition weeks before you're supposed to pay it. So I want you guys to have a little heads up, which is why I decided to make this chart right here, which includes each and every single course in order from the least expensive to the most expensive course at Bunka Fashion College. Now, I want you to keep in mind that these are all estimates and they're just based on my own personal calculations, but hopefully they can help you guys make informed decisions about which course you want to take at Bunka Fashion College. That just about sums up all the tuition prices for the different courses at Bunka. If you guys found this video informative, then definitely be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe as well if you want to see more videos about just Bunka or studying in Japan. Oh yeah, and if you guys want to see a video where I talk about, you know, scholarships, how you guys can find one, definitely let me know and I will make that video as well for you guys. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!